Bioremediation is a process in which organisms metabolize and neutralize pollutants. It's important because pollutants like crude oil can be carcinogenic, they can cause harm to the environment, and they can inhibit plant growth, as shown in this study where, when plants were exposed to crude oil, there was a 50-90% to 90 decrease in plant germination. Bacteria take up pollutants like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, and through various microbial processes, they break them down and then release much less harmful waste products. Unfortunately, soil is very hard to clean. There's a gradient in the microbial ability to bioremediate, so at increasing depth, it's harder and harder for bacteria to break down pollutants. There's also issues with clay adsorption, where the pollutants are absorbed to the clay particles and are therefore less accessible to be broken down by microbes. Bioaugmentation is the culturing and adding of microorganisms that are genetically designed to biodegrade soil contaminants. In this case study, after an oil spill in Japan, bioaugmentation was used to, to achieve a 78% reduction in oil coverage of contaminated rocks, whereas there was only a 37% reduction without bioaugmentation. Biostimulation is the adding of rate-limiting nutrients to the soil in order to nurture or stimulate the native biodegrading microbes. In this case study, when sewage sludge was used as a biostimulant, there was a 100% reduction in petroleum hydrocarbons over 19 months, whereas there was only a 17% reduction without the sludge. In the future, we need to expand our knowledge of biostimulation, and we need to find ways to pair bioaugmentation and biostimulation in order to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of both processes.